What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the red color playing as Isis. His name is Count Von Count. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Poseidon. His name is Soup. You're seeing some off gods getting played here. Uh, I will be, um, this is a little soft announcement for those of you who are, uh, who are interested and excited about things that are going to be happening. Uh, there is a tournament coming and it is going to be a free choice god tournament. Whether or not you're hype about that or not, I don't know. It's been a while since we've actually had one. Uh, and... There's going to be some uh, excitement to, uh, to, uh, in different areas of the tournament to see if we can spice the games up to some degree. But uh, <laughs> we'll see how things are going to go. I do think that even when you've got free God Choice tournaments, the players who win are the players who have got multiple different picks that they can pick. So definitely worth it to, uh, to continue uh, leveling up your off picks to some degree. We'll see how things are going to go. Count on Count gets a really, really nice spawn here of boars. Going to be able to grab all of these boars with just the one pharaoh. He's deciding yeah. to get pretty, uh, pretty aggressive, so to speak, with yeah. the uh, with the pharaoh scouting going on early here. He's looking to see if he's got any amazing town centers uh, at this point, but it, it looks like he's just going to be coming up onto this granary over there and, uh, and grabbing that one there, which does make a lot of sense here against Poseidon. One of Isis's big, big weaknesses is that she really struggles with eating her secondary hunt against Greek uh, because they send their heroes for it and, they, and, and, and you kind of just can't hunt it. Uh, so eating this in the early game makes makes a lot a, a lot of sense, especially like around about two minutes. It's just kind of now when Gavoth, uh, not Gavoth, Gavoth was the play person we just watch, especially in the two minute where Count von Count has shown if you eat this, this hunt is mostly all going to be gone by about four minutes into the game when potentially the Theseus comes in to cause some problems. So that's uh going to be uh, an exciting time there as Count von Count's getting himself out. The, the monument to the villages and all the other good stuff. It does look like uh, Count's going to be going for a later advance time here. There's kind of several different ways to play Egyptian, uh, but mostly if you are going for a second town center, you should be thinking about trying to advance at four minutes, uh, four minutes and two seconds or four minutes and 30 seconds. If you're thinking about going for a classical fight, you should be thinking about doing the same sort of thing. Uh, but if you're thinking about going for a fast heroic age, advancing later is actually the more efficient option, uh, so to speak, because you're going to get more resources early out and get a faster and more efficient uh, heroic age. As we do see the uh, the house wall starting here, this is going to be a long time to build that house wall as the temple going to get thrown up over here as well. And soup on the other side of the, the, uh, the map here, uh, we weren't paying attention, but look at this advance time from Soup. He is going up through Hermes, and he is getting himself his Theseus. And look at that timing there. It's going to be a 3.34 advance time from Soup. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, the, uh, this is the new and improved Greek that we've been talking about recently, uh, where you grab a straggler tree over here, and you can advance incredibly fast to put pressure onto your opponent straight away. And this is, uh, this is possible with Poseidon, this is possible with Hades, and this is possible with uh, Zeus to some degree. Uh, all these gods can make this happen with, with a good enough map. As we see the Santa going to be moving out across the map, what is Count Von Count going to be doing as a, uh, as a result? Count Von Count just says, no worries, going to be pushed off this granary, so he's just going to retreat off this nonetheless. Uh, this is effective damage dealt to Count Von Count, though. If you think about this, in terms of these villagers moving from this granary to the home base, uh, he moved here... And it's taken him maybe about 10 to 15 seconds to move here for those six villages. So six times about 15 is the amount of resource damage done 
that uh, Advancing Fast has given Soup here in this game. Uh, and we'll see if he's going to be able to pick off anything else. Almost picks off a, uh, a Priest over here going after the Laborer on this position as well. And behind all of this, I wouldn't be surprised to see Soup. Well, I mean, Soup is going incredibly aggressive here with the early stable. So he's not actually going for that that fast uh, that fast second town center. He's moved only two villages over onto this wood line as well here. Uh, and we do see the villagers coming up over onto this location as well. As Soup has uh, got his eyes set on preventing a preventing a town center from getting grabbed. Unfortunately for Soup, I don't think the damage that he wanted to do here from this early game advance has really managed to uh, to do enough damage here when all things are said and done. We see the priest getting healed back up over here as the unit's going to come through, pushing off this boar on this position as well. As one villager going down, not quite good micro there from camp on camp, pulling into his base here. And the units are going to pull back over here as well. As the house is coming up on this location, we see a second monument coming through as well here as the armory going to come up onto this position as well as the obelisk get taken down here we'll see how things are going to go as the sphinx coming in onto this position we will be seeing a dead villager here that's so huge for count von count uh as the villagers are retreating back home here looks like uh soup's gonna be reacting to that sphinx raid there by sending his apollo to back home definitely not something that he really wants to do there as it means he's not going to be able to use that for his pressure on the front but look at where the villagers are gathering gold they've got two gold mines to pick from he's getting himself the villagers on the hurtables as well over here does he have himself husbandry he does have husbandry he's got himself pickaxe as well armory coming through to boot should be completely fine here as the villagers do manage to get back into the main base not losing another one this sphinx is going to be moving around here still looking for more villagers to take out here as the army going to be retreating back here ever so slightly house coming up on that position as well we see the armor of achilles five percent infantry hack vulnerability there barracks coming up as well for count von count i like the barracks pick here uh, at this point maybe a little bit early a little bit unnecessary but the idea is that against poseidon you want spearmen so making the barracks is a good idea as we do see an obelisk coming back onto this position as well uh, count von count still trying to hold here uh, as best as he can, eating these boars, but he is getting pushed off this one. There's just not enough real help here. Do we have crenellations? No crenellations. Is this uh, Hippocon going to take out the obelisk on this position as well? As Soup at this point is keeping his resources incredibly low here, pumping those uh, pumping those Hippocon out. Looks like the Sphinx is getting taken down fairly quickly here as the Centaur gets a little bit of damage there. Is this getting bumped into? Soup needs to marker that a little bit. Does manage to do so. The Sphinx could actually turn around and finish that one off at this point here, but just going to be retreating back. We will be seeing the barracks getting taken down, and Count on Count must be almost able to hit that Heroic Age fairly soon here. He has spent a lot of resources on, on priests and, and all of that stuff there as well, but uh, I imagine the Sphinx is going to try and circle back home here and get uh, healed back up as the Santa gets another shot onto it. Still not enough damage there to finish that one off. And Count Von Count's going to get a full HP Sphinx back as well as managing to advance through to the Heroic Age through Nephthys. Has Soup done enough here in the Classical Age to hurt Count Von Count and give himself an advantage here in this game or not is the big question. He does have the Hippocon out. Uh, we've got Count on Count with having already had two monuments for quite some time in this game as well. So he's going to be able to make those Scorpion men out very, very uh, strongly as well. As the villagers do get pushed off of that uh, off of that tower there as well. And it looks like Count on Count not getting himself the the wood income that he really needs right now. Uh, I, I feel like one of the one really good play that that Count on Count could do right now, considering kind of how hurting Soup's economy is, especially when you're playing one town center versus one town center, is to be going for an Ancestors Eclipse uh, on the economy of uh, on the economy of, of Soup here to get a, a really big amount of damage done. So we are seeing some villagers getting sniped down here. One villager going down is absolutely huge, but uh, he's going to be losing a couple of Hippocon here, it would seem as a, or at least a little bit of HP here, would seem as a, as a response there as the Scorpion Man does pop out. Going to be seeing that Migdol Stronghold getting thrown up elsewhere over here as the Pharaoh does drop through the town center as, as fast as he can. Uh, 
He's just waiting in his... Uh, there he comes. He has a relic that he's holding with the infantry hack vulnerability, which is actually another big relic for him to uh, to make spearmen for against the against the Hippocon to make them even more valuable. Soup, on the other hand, now grabbing himself that second town center up over here. Very, very late second town center. We'll see if it's going to work out for him. It will give him the economy. He's got the Hippocon out already to kind of put pressure on and deny, deny, deny. But I imagine count von count here, once he gets this... Uh, once he gets this Migdol stronghold up, uh, oh, we will be seeing that centaur getting sniped down. Once he gets the Migdol stronghold up, he's going to be able to jump onto either like pure food or pure wood. He really doesn't need to be getting gold anymore. This is one of those things which uh, I think I think Egyptian players, especially Isis, tends to be something which. I do as well, and I'm trying to fix the habit, is once you click Prosperity, you just leave all your villagers on gold, kind of dumbly, even though you're sitting on 1,000 gold, where you could just chuck every villager over onto wood and spam all of those units out and have a really, really good time uh, of it, as opposed to having this really wonky uh, 1,000 floating resources in the bank. Uh, but yeah, we'll see if, if uh, Count Von Count's going to be able to fix that one up in the near future. Obviously, he does need to spam out farms here, but I feel like he's still got Hunt on the map over here as well, and he will be able to grab that in the near future as the heroes coming through here for Soup going to be able to push back the Sphinx and the uh, Scorpion Men as they pull back into this location. We still got the villagers sitting a little bit idly by over on this position. Going to be uh, fixing that one up. And the big question right now is going to be, what is Count Von Count going to be trying to kill with his answers as attack timing push here moving forward? Because he's not gone for this town center, kind of like I thought he would. Oh, now he is. Okay, so he's going for the town center, so there's no real necessity to kind of uh, kind of go for a timing attack. He's got the units out to defend it. Soup, on the other hand here, he's kind of slowed down on production, trying to get to that next age. I think it's vitally important for him to get to the heroic age here, get himself a Nemean Lion, get himself heavy... Uh, heavy cavalry and potentially also start thinking about making himself some hypaspis or hoplites here to kind of deal with those spearmen that are out as the myth unit still causing some issues over here Count Count still has quite a bit of uh, favor in the bank as the army trying to fight here for soup it's, these have kind of getting really really low on the HP as the town center does get grabbed here Count Von Count can move over here and grab this uh this hunt here if he wants to starting to jump onto this gold mine instead with a couple of those villages we'll see if how he's going to go because he's still trying to build out spearmen he's got himself heavy spearmen really committing into the spearmen line here as we see some walls coming up over here. potential ceasefire might be getting uh thought about clicking here for the soup as he is biding his time here in this game but count on county doesn't really have any siege here so there's not any huge worry from soup at this point he's going to lose all his buildings but the ancestors eclipse does come down nonetheless and that's going to mean all the villagers have to retreat back all the hippocon have to retreat back soup at this point is going through aphrodite as we see the watchtower is getting uh researched there just in the nick of time is the hippocon going to be retreating away i think maybe putting the aphrodite through this town center might have been a better idea but uh we'll see how it's all going to go as the hero uh, Theseus does get taken down over there. Villagers getting chased off of that gold mine over here. We've got the Hippocon sitting on this location here. Villagers getting taken down over there as well as Count Von Count is now going after this town center as well. And like I said, well, a little known fact is that every if you put all your minions onto a town center, it's going to be able to take it down with Ancestors Eclipse, that is. It's going to be able to take it down by themselves. So it's, it's actually really, really strong to do that when your opponent's kind of not in, uh, not in a good position to defend which is kind of what's happening here. But it looks like Soup's going to have an incredibly idle economy right now. 26 villages idle throughout this Ancestors Eclipse. Uh, losing all of his watchtowers here. We'll be getting some militia back for it as the villagers popping out over here. Going to be looking to make a break for it, potentially up to the top side of the map here, jumping onto this gold mine, onto this wood line, and all that other good stuff. But Soup in a very, very difficult position right now. As Aphrodite does come through. We'll probably see a curse dropped onto here. Wouldn't would make a lot of sense to try and curse this and get all of the all the the little piggies, as uh, as Black Adder says. But uh, now Soup does find himself uh, seeing where the gold of Count on Count is getting grabbed. Can definitely go for a raid on that position if he so chooses, as the uh, 
Spearman coming through over here, getting some more damage done with the help of that Sphinx. As the villagers all, all, all the Hippocon going to all retreat back in. Uh, Soup now trying to produce his army back up to full population here, but Count Von Count's got a good position here. We'll see how he's going to convert it. He does drop a Migdol stronghold onto this gold mine over here. He Village is finishing up on that hunt on that position over here. He's got the Spearman over here as well, producing some more Spearman just from the one barracks at this point. Uh, you have to remember, this is one of those things This seems, for some reason, seems quite difficult for Egyptian players, myself included, is when is the timing to put down more barracks? Because one barracks is effectively, one barracks producing spearmen is effectively equal to two-ish uh, military academies, for example, producing hoplites. So when do you put that next barracks down? And the answer is basically once you get the second town center or once you get enough villagers uh, out, you want to get that second barracks down. Ends up being about, if you're going for a classical flight, ends up being about like six, seven minutes into the game. Uh, if you are, if you're going for pure spearmen, for example. Uh, but we'll see if uh, if Count von Count's going to go for more spearmen or not. He did invest in it, so it makes sense to do it. But he's grabbing his third town center here. Super, on the other hand, here is just trying to kind of sort his economy out. He's got farms all over the place. In a good position here. He's got like nothing left in his main base. Losing those towers means you lose so much line of sight in your in your home base. As the uh, as the Hippocon coming through here, gonna start taking out the Sphinx over here. And the Sphinx does get taken down over here as well. As all the myth units falling does give Super somewhat of an advantage moving forward here, but he just doesn't have the army to be pushing in onto this position here. He does still have ceasefire, so he, he can he can be fine where that's concerned. I'm a little bit disappointed to see the Toxodes when uh, pure food army is kind of the way to go here for Poseidon in a big way, but uh, we'll see how things are going to eventuate moving forward here. This Count's got himself third town center up. Hasn't started villages just net. Needs to get his farms up. He's got 28 villages on the gold. Still only sitting at pickaxe, which is a, a bit of a a bit of a mistake there from Count von Count. It's one of those one of those big ticket upgrades for Egyptian, which really boosts your gold economy uh, through the roof. Just think about the difference between pickaxe and uh, and and shaft mine is is a 20% bonus, uh, effective bonus. So you could have. If you, I think he had 30 villages on gold for a second there, uh, which would uh, which would mean he's probably getting himself something like six extra, like 36 villages had he had shaft mine instead of 30 villages or whatever. Comparatively, if that makes any sense. My math is bad, so maybe I'm not quite right about that. Anyways, Nemean Lion coming out here for soup, trying to make those. I, I, love, I love the idea of making Nemean Lions against Egyptian, especially against Ra, but against... Uh, against Isis, and espe especially in Isis who's got monuments and is making myth units, you're going to be finding yourself losing this Nemean lion to, to things like priests, funeral rites, priests, and and and, and the uh, and everything like that, because Campbell Guns already got them out, and he is still building these scorpion men, but he, he will be getting himself uh, he will be getting himself funeral rites here f relatively soon, I'm sure. As we do see the army now starting to move out for Count von Count, deciding you've got your army over here, no worries. Let's see if we can push in onto this gold mine. He kind of has a spidey sense that the villages are all up here, and this is going to be a huge hit to the soup economy moving forward. But the Migdal Stronghold getting taken down over on this position as the army does move through over here, looking to pick off some villages, moving very, very slowly with those priests as the Toxodes do spot this one here. We'll see how things are going to go as the Scorpion Man all coming over. You're going to start taking down the Sipicon incredibly fast as Soup not paying attention over there. We will be seeing the priest getting targeted down by the Toxodes here. The Nemean line just about to fall as well. But just look at all the Hippocon falling here as the village is still trying to repair this Migdol back Back up and Soup has not played this one right. He's probably not even going to get the Migdol Stronghold down when all is said and done as the Scorpion Man come and clean everything up there. Huge play from Count Von Count to make that happen. And now we see the 17 minute ceasefire after uh, after all is said and done. And, and Count Von Count is going to be more than happy to take the uh, take the time that Soup has given him to get himself tech, potentially take this town center here, wouldn't go astray. We do see that Soup is grabbing it now, so it's not going to be an option for Count Von Count, but he can he can just get himself upgrades and go to the Mythic Age. I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, 
I would be a fan of seeing Thoth here in this position from Count Von Count as well. Part of the reason for it is when you see a town center with a ton of farms on it like this, Town of farms, well, this isn't really that many farms, but you hit this town center with Meteor, and it's going to be able to pick off all of the farms here, and then you're going to be able to move in with the Phoenix and, and all of the other stuff that comes from going Thoth, as opposed to Osiris, which just doesn't have any big oomph factor in it straight away. Yes, Osiris is good, but could just be an easy win here as uh, Count Von Count's got himself all these markets set up. He's got his walls already set up over here, blocking off this position nicely. Uh, Big Dog Stronghold slowly getting repaired back up as more barracks will be thrown down here. We've got ourselves some decent armory upgrades through for uh, Count Von Count. He is also focusing on those armor upgrades rather than the weapon side of it, the defensive upgrades rather than the offensive side of the upgrades, which is I think is a really, really good way to play. I think those weapons upgrades, for the most part, are kind of the ladder upgrades you want to grab. It's definitely not the first upgrades you want to be uh, want to be getting. It's, it's just not as efficient, in my opinion. As the army coming through, cleaning up all these units here. Soup is still struggling to keep populated in this game. He does get himself out another Nemean line, which will be helping him out. There is a priest over here that can do a little bit of damage. But Soup here is losing all of his units very, very fast here in this game. The priest getting some good damage done onto that Nemean lion. We do see the Hippocon trying to get onto the priest, but too little, too late there. As more, <laughs> more of those Nemean lions going out. And Soup decides to tap out here after this game of the crazy fast 334 advance time trying to get some early pressure done but he just did not quite manage to make it happen in this game the thing about the early advance time is by advancing fast you are taking a immediate loss to economy where your opponent effectively just gets economy for doing Nothing for just basically just advancing later. So it's on you to find as much damage as you possibly can in that extra little bit of time that you've got. And every fifth or every 14 seconds that goes by that your opponent doesn't advance, that's an extra roughly 60 resources. It's a little bit less for Egyptian, but it's roughly 60 resources that your opponent gets on top of you. So you need to deal that much damage to get even with your opponent. Uh, and we really didn't see that happen here. So one, one option to get, uh, to get that advantage is uh, if you pick off a villager, then that means that your opponent over the, next, the course of the, the next minute is going to have 120 resources less than, than you, right? If you pick off one villager and you continue building villages. So basically, all, if, you, if you're going for a 334 and your opponent goes for a 430, that two minutes turns into four minutes. So now you, you pick off one villager there. And we didn't even see that Soup got one villager. Uh, but that's, uh, that's kind of it. And Soup couldn't quite make work here in this game, but an interesting try. Uh, I, I definitely think the 348 is a little bit less crazy than the 334. Or even the 402 is maybe the way to go as well. It just depends on the matchup. But uh, well played by Count Von County. Played around it very, very nicely. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this one, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.